Hello everyone, welcome. We're gonna discuss another anime that just wrapped up. So let's jump right into it. Today we're talking about Licorice Recoil. Now here's my opinion on it. I liked it. However, I, I feel like it kind of got progressively worse each episode, at least for me. Not like overall, it's not like the quality of it dropped or anything, but in, in terms of what I was expecting to happen next and the plot, it kind of went downhill from me because it started out really cool. The combat was amazing, right? Characters were interesting and cool, and I liked them, but like the, the, the stuff that was happening in the plot just kept going down and down and down. I wish it would have been like, I wish it wouldn't have had a solid storyline, right? I wish it would have just been like a sort of slice of life kind of thing with uh chisato going around and catching baddies every once in a while right not even every once in a while just like all the time that'd be great like uh, every episode she goes and catches some bad guys and there's stuff in development that way but the, the way that they incorporated the storyline into it and the storyline itself didn't enjoy uh, so let's move on to the stuff that i did enjoy uh, honestly the combat was great um, some of the best gunplay I've ever seen comes from Chisato and her ability to like read people's movements so they know so she knows where they're aiming and can just like dodge their bullets and then like pinpoint accurately just like take them down. It, it's it's really great. Um, there's actually character development, which is really nice. Um, Takina, the girl who's kind of like distant and uh, bitter in the beginning warms up and becomes really friendly with Chisato and kind of starts thinking for herself as opposed to just thinking for the, the organization um, and whatnot, which is just great. You love to see it. Uh, there's a number of iconic scenes, like just scenes that are amazing and blow you away. Also really cute scenes. At the end of one episode, uh, Chisato and Takina are having a rock, paper, scissors contest. And after Takino wins once, he uh, does this cute little dance, which I'm actually told uh, was improvised by Takino's voice actor. Apparently when they were doing lines, I think she might have... I think the story goes she did the dance like Takino would have... Looked like she thought Takino would have, and they were like, wow, that's great, let's include that. So that's kind of cool. Um, I like that sometimes you can't really tell what happens is going to happen next, you know, because like, it kind of catches you off guard. You're like, wow, didn't expect that. Uh, pretty cool. And the concept in general is just, it's nice. Uh, the whole, uh, there's like undercover high school girls in society who like stop crime before it happens and stuff like that and just like disappear people off the street. Like the first couple of episodes of like showing this, it was great. But as it got later on and on and further on, it, it Really dragged its feet. Gotta be honest. Now let's move on to the things I, I didn't like. As I said, the way the plot progressed, um, I, I can't really explain it properly. As I mentioned here, um, it's, it's just kind of hard to do. And this thing that says uh, the amount of action that dropped uh, a bit, kind of in the middle, it dropped. It, it drops down a little bit in the middle, and at the end, it's like a lot of action happening. So. Uh, Kind of take that so in the beginning there's like a lot of action with like the the sheens showing it off getting you into the show and then it kind of peters off a bit and then it ramps back up it's kind of like a u uh in the shape there and uh yeah the, the last couple of episodes make no sense for a number of reasons uh there's there's a bad guy the main villain he's like a terrorist right and he Apparently is only a terrorist because of what the uh, DA organization is doing. Where they're stopping crime before it happens and making it seem like there's no crime in Japan. And he's like, I don't like that. I'm going to make it, I'm going to like expose these liars, what they are by being a criminal. And it's like, dude, just fuck off. Like, seriously, just eat shit. And, uh. The, the, the fact that what they do in the ending is they give random guns to random citizens. Like, they, they left a gun, for example, on a park bench, like, underneath it, 
a guy in a business suit finds it and picks it up. And I think later he then uses it and shoots one of the licorice girls. And it's like, why would he do that? There's like no reason for him to do that. Like a normal person would not all of a sudden use a gun. Like what? Ridiculous, right? And uh, et cetera. Also, there's a number of times where the main bad guy, uh, one of the main bad guys, I guess, Majima, he should die, like, a lot. And even at the end, he should die. But he somehow survives. Um, the first time is where he has, like, the first encounter with Chisato in the show. And he's attempting to get into a car, and then an RPG hits the car, and he miraculously survives. Like, barely an injury on him when you see him again. Makes no sense. First of all, an RPG blowing up a car, he would have, you know, shrapnel, um, if not burns, just from, like, the, the RPG itself, if not also the shrapnel from the car exploding and going into his body as the explosion occurs. Like, it's a huge explosion, and he gets, like, sent flying. He should be dead. Okay? And then at the end, he basically falls from a skyscraper with no possible way for him to catch himself, slow his fall, or to cushion the impact. And then he is shown again at the end, having survived. Dumb. Also, Chisato's unwillingness to kill, like, really bothers me. There is numerous, like, times when if she would have just killed someone, everything would have just gone a lot smoother. Um, the whole, like, ending would have gone a lot smoother. Like, I mean, you, you could have just stopped the show, like, four episodes earlier if she would have just actually killed a guy once. Whatever. Also, if she would have killed one guy a lot earlier in the show, when she had the chance multiple times to do so, she could have saved countless lives. Well, maybe not countless. Maybe, like, at least 50 lives or something like that because of her not killing a guy. A bunch of other licorice die uh, a lot. And that's messed up. Not to mention the fact that the citizens end up with guns and who knows what they're going to do with them. That jazz. And, uh, it's just a little bit ridiculous that she did that. You know? Just uh, annoying. But would I recommend it? And would there be a second season? So I would recommend it, even though I've had some negative things to say about it. It was still a fun ride. Uh, while I didn't like the way it went, it was still good. The combat is S tier, despite everything else, though. Like, e even if you don't, like, watch the entire show, you watch the first couple of episodes, because it's just so entertaining to watch Chisato do her thing. And, uh, yeah, she's amazing to watch, like I said. And bam. As for a second season, it is possible, but I'm not entirely sold if I want one. Because, I mean, everyone's still, like, alive. Who's the main characters and the villain. So there's a possibility that they could be like, oh, we gotta stop the bad guy again. But if it's just gonna be a whole, oh, Chisato's not gonna kill again, and then we're gonna, like, do stupid shit, it's like, goddamn it. It's so annoying. Like, so, so annoying. I don't know. I, I kind of got fed up with the first season and the way that, like, the villain had plot armor. Literally. Because he should have died multiple times. And then Shisato not killing. Like, I can understand for the most part her not doing it. But, like, lady, look. Some people just need to die. And the main villain is one of them. Majima needs to just die. Like, my God. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, I don't know. If, if the second season does come out, I might give it a try. But if it ends up being another, like, stupid, like, Chisato versus Majima thing the entire time, I would just say no, thank you. Not at all. Not at all interesting. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Licorice Recoil everyone so if you uh want to check it out go ahead and do so and let me know what you think in the comments if you'd like but uh, that's all from me everyone i'll talk to y'all next time
Out for now.